Hey, how's it going YouTube? This is Bob, KK4DIV, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about um, PSK31 and the Yesu 817. Um, went out today to the park, Kensal Park, here in Lynn Haven. Uh, grid Square is Echo Mike 70 Echo Golf. And uh, did a little bit of uh, portable operating, used PSK31, and I just want to kind of show some of the equipment that I use today. So, first of all, use the uh, Yesu FT817. Uh, talked about this radio before, used it many times, you've seen it. Uh, a lot of information out there on the uh, interwebs about the FT817. It's a 5 watt QRP radio, all mode, all band. Uh, great little radio. I love this radio. And um, nice thing about it, it has uh, internal battery capability. So I was using uh, some rechargeable AA batteries today, and uh, I got about three and a half hours of use out of it. So um, good, uh, good, good radio, and uh, those batteries work well today. Um, the other thing I used today was the uh, Samsung Tab 4. Uh, you can use um, a tablet with uh, a Droid PSK as the software. Uh, it's nice software. Um, not all tablets work uh, with the uh, Droid PSK software properly. Uh, you've got to have a headphone jack that uh, is a four conductor uh, headphone jack in there. A lot of cell phones have that, not all tablets. I had a Lenovo tablet a while back, did not have the four conductor, it was just a stereo head, headphone jack and uh, you could not get the, uh, there was no microphone. Uh, capabilities with that headphone jack. You gotta have a headphone jack that's able to have a microphone and a uh, and a speaker, uh, audio in, audio out. I guess you could say on that headphone jack. Um, like I said, a lot of phones have that. Some tablets, but all, not all tablets. This is the Samsung Tab Four. Uh, I had it for a couple of years now. It's a great tablet. Um, the other part of the uh, the other component. Forgive me here. Um, is the uh, Wolfie Link, and that's the interface that goes between the radio and the tablet. So uh, what you got is uh, we've got the uh, Yaesu uh, data port in the back uses this uh, six-pin mini DIN plug. So one end goes into the uh, data port on your radio, and the other plugs into one side of this box. Now this box is just an interface box. I'm going to take it apart here, uh, but there's a couple of adjustments in here when you uh, pretty much comes pre-adjusted but if you do need to make any kind of adjustments I just want to show you uh, what they are um, I hope you can see this this is a uh, um, you got an audio uh, transmit and receive adjustments right here so those are the two adjustments in there so if you're transmit or uh, receive audio levels aren't quite right you can make the adjustments there um, want to make sure that the uh, transmit levels are good going into the radio uh, you don't want to overdrive uh, the radio um, have a signal that's too wide things like that um, don't really think that's a whole lot of problem with the uh, with this and the uh, Yaesu 817 that's just you know you don't have a whole lot of power but uh, ju you just always want to check and make sure your audio levels are right so that's the interface box as you see it's real small uh, that's the Wolfie link and you can uh, google Wolfie link that's w-o-l-p-h-i-e l-i-n-k Wolfie link uh, google it and uh, check that out it works with the uh, Droid PSK software. It also works with, uh, there's some other software out there that the Wolfie Link interface works with. Uh, there's a, a Droid RTTY. Um, there's a HF Weatherfax. All made by the same folks. So Wolfie is the, is the, is the uh, uh, I guess the, the creator, the, the company that puts this stuff out. Uh, on the other side of the box, you've just got this, uh, you know, you've got your four conductor uh, headphone audio uh, jack 
and uh, that just plugs right into your um, right into your tablet. So I made four contacts today uh, over you know a, a given amount of time. Um, it was a beautiful day out, so wasn't on the radio the entire time. I was kind of enjoying the day and all that. So um, great way to uh, get on the air uh, with PSK in a small package. I'm able to throw this together, radio, um, tablet, all my um, wires and, and cords and cables and things like that go on a small laptop bag. And then uh, I was using the Chameleon F-Loop antenna uh, for, uh, for the antenna and that has its own separate carrying bag. You've seen the, uh, the video probably I've had on that. Uh, check it out, um, Chameleon F-Loop. Great antenna, I still love that antenna. Um, but the nice thing about this with PSK is even if the bands aren't so good, you know, with five watts, it's kind of hard to make uh, some sideband contacts. I did try a little sideband today and only made one contact. It was pretty difficult, but uh, with, uh, with PSK, uh, it doesn't take a whole lot of power and you can make contacts. So it's the nice thing about with QRP is you know, these, this PSK, uh, you make contacts where you couldn't on sideband. So, anyway, that's it. I just kind of want to show off the equipment. If you don't have any questions, please let me know. And I'm going to splice in a video here uh, of the day's activities and uh, just a quick little video about the equipment and uh, showing how it works and um, one contact I made. So, stick around for that. Thanks a lot, everybody. And uh, we'll catch you next time, 7-3. It's KK4 DIV. Alright, KK4 DIV. And uh, we're operating PSK31 uh, on 20 meters. That's 14070. And we're using the Yaesu FT817. We've got a, a Samsung Tab4 tablet. I interfaced uh, using the, I can get it here. The Wolfie Link. That's a Wolfie Link uh, interface to the tablet. And we've got the uh, Chameleon F Loop antenna we're using today. And I've made a few contacts if we can see them here. Uh, there's uh, three contacts we made on the 12th. Uh, so uh, it's working. Making a contact here on uh, PSK 31. With KC1 DJO. Good signal report with the 817 and the uh, and the uh, chameleon mag loop antenna today.